My name is Murray McQuinney and I'm a second year apprentice at Andrew Miller Architectural Joinery. What I like most about my apprenticeship is seeing the jobs start from the very beginning, from having big battens of wood up until the end where it's nice finished doors and windows and I also like the, the skills that I need to use. Every job you're using a different set of skills. We specialise in many different things in the workshop from sash and case windows to fibreless handmade kitchens to making big doors for uh, old houses. So the workshop's got to flow. So you start off by getting your timber, chopping it to length, then you put it through the saw to cut it to various different sizes. Then you go down to the next end of the workshop where it's put through the floor cutter or the surface planer to make it all nice and smooth and straight. And then it goes on to the spindle molder for any glass checks or any mouldings that need to get taken out of the timber. Once that's done, it gets taken onto your workbench where that's where you start to do all your prepping for whatever it is that you're going to be manufacturing. Working in the workshop, no two days are the same. One day I could be working on an old Victorian fireplace and then the next day I could be building a window from scratch. Something that has surprised me in being a joiner is the variety of wood that I work with. All the different kinds of wood that I work with have different characteristics, so some wood may be softer than others, some wood may be harder than others, and you need to work around that. I'd say that it's a brilliant career path to choose because everybody's going to need a joiner at some point or another. There's always going to be somebody that has to have a door hung or a window fixed or skirting boards placed, so you're never going to be out of work. There are many different kind of joiners and each have their own unique set of skills. So a kitchen fitter specifically just builds kitchens and fits kitchens. And you get a workshop joiner like me who more or less builds stuff from scratch, doors, windows, anything. And you get an on-site joiner who's out on site putting up kits, etc. Although there are lots of different kinds of joiner, they all share the same set of basic skills. When I was in school, I really enjoyed woodworking. So that kind of sparked my interest in woodworking and working with my hands and being creative. Being an apprentice, my week is kind of splitting to being at college and being at work. So I spend two days a week at college mastering all my hand tools and all the finer joinery skills. And then the rest of the week, I'm either in the workshop working away or I get, go to other sites where I can measure up and fit things myself. The hardest thing about being an apprentice joiner is that the pressure is always on you to complete a new task to the highest standard and although that you might get shown how to do it a couple of times there's always the pressure you put on yourself to complete it to the best of your ability but as your apprenticeship goes forward your confidence grows and you get better. I wish that I'd known that you can just phone up companies and ask them if they're looking for any apprentices because when I was in school, I thought it would be a lot more complicated to find a job like this. I think it's very important here to have apprentices to keep the trade alive. I find it very satisfying to pass on my experience to apprentices and watch their skill and confidence grow from their first year to their fourth year and then progressing it on from that. And hopefully they find the passion and the pride as well that I take in my work and knowing that I've been part of their growth through their apprenticeship makes me really proud and gives me a lot of satisfaction of what I do. Uh, I enjoy working with my tradesman, I get on really well with him, very helpful and also with younger apprentices as well, it gives me the chance to pass on the skills that I've learned to them. Working on traditional sash and case windows from start to finish is really satisfying and it makes me really proud.